Hey everyone, it's Shia from Chili Sauce. Today I'll be showing you how to remove your AIO cooler from your PC. In this example, I'll be removing a Corsair H100i. But as always, please make sure to subscribe. I post daily videos about tech and gaming, and I'm trying to get 100 subscribers by the end of 2020. Anyway, roll the intro. Now, when you start to remove your AIO cooler, everyone tells you the first step is to remove the fans, which then allows you to handle the radiator better. However, I think the first step should be disconnecting any cables attached to your AIO, including any fan connectors if you are removing those also. So get to the other side of your computer. Here I am removing the fan controller, USB power and SATA cable. Sorry about the mess at the back of my computer. I mean, as long as the front is well cable managed, the back can be messy, right? I'm sure that's how it works. Also, don't forget that once you have disconnected the cables, to slide them back into the front of your case for easy radiator extraction. In this example, I'll be removing my fans so I won't be disconnecting them. In fact, I'm actually just replacing my radiator. Once that's done, go to the front of your PC to start removing the radiator. You want to remove anything blocking it or anything that may get in the way when you're pulling it out. In my case, I need to remove my RGB LED strip at the top. Then I also need to remove my RAM since they make access to the radiator quite restricted. With that done, you then want to begin removing your fans. In my case, I am just disconnecting the fans as I will be installing another AIO cooler. Now the wonderful thing about these coolers, especially the ones from Corsair, is that they come with a minimum of 5 years warranty. These coolers here are just under 5 years old and I was having problems with them. A simple email to Corsair and they've sent me a replacement free of charge. With all the fans out of the way, you want to start disassembling your CPU block. To do this, start with removing the screws holding it in place. Start by unscrewing diagonally very gently. Once you've done that, take out all the cables attached to the AIO cooler and place them to the side. Very gently wiggle the CPU block slowly to loosen it up and to see if the CPU compound is bonded to the CPU. You do not want to yank it out straight away as you may risk pulling your CPU out with the cooler. You're almost done. Now you can remove the whole unit by pulling out the radiator including any supporting plate. Finally, grab some alcohol, preferably 70% or 99%. Don't use Diet Coke or beer because those TikToks are just scams. Also, don't use a chili pepper. We tried and just got stings in our eyes. Okay, we're 95% complete. Just a home stretch left. You want to remove these mounting screws holding the back plate to the motherboard. You should be able to do this by hand. And that's it, jobs are good then. Just remove the back plate safely. It shouldn't be attached to anything as we already removed the screws. Great job, you did it. Huge shout out to Corsair support for helping me replace my faulty AIO cooler. Anyway, if this video helped you, then please subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment down below. I post daily videos about tech and gaming, so I'll see you same time tomorrow.